Hello, this is Marco from Wizzy.io. In this tutorial, I'll walk you through creating a workflow starting from the form Workflow Plus web application. We're currently logged in to the web app, and it is assumed that you've already installed the Google Sheets add-on via the G Suite Marketplace. We've included a new workflow button on the web app's landing page. Click on this to open a new Google Sheet where we can create a new workflow. The first order of business is to rename the Google Sheet. Now, let's run the add-on by clicking on the add-ons menu, look for Form Workflow Plus, then click Start. We've redesigned the UI for ease of setup and better settings organization. Form Workflow Plus needs a Google Form linked to the spreadsheet to run. This is the first check the add-on performs while loading. If there's no linked form yet, you can choose from a list of starter templates or link an existing one. I'll walk you through the process of linking an existing form first. You'll need the edit form URL as this would be plugged in if you choose to link an existing form. The easiest way to get the URL is to go to your Google Drive and search for the form. Click on the form to open it on a new tab. You would know it's the correct URL because it ends with edit, as shown here. Copy this or place the URL in a notepad. Now, we're ready to plug this into the Form Workflow Plus add-on. Click on Link an Existing Form, then a window would pop up where you can paste the URL. If you put an invalid URL, you would be notified with an error message. Once done, click on Link Form. Alternatively, you can choose from the starter templates if you don't have a form yet. Click on Create Selected Form to continue with the setup. We've organized the essential settings under a single tab so it would only take you four steps to create a basic workflow. Specify the response sheet, select the requester's email column, set up the approval steps, and you can save and activate your workflow, quick and easy. If you want to further customize your workflow, head over to the Advanced Settings tab. Here, you can publish the form to the web app, activate responses settings, set daily reminders, final notification CCs, set up the calendar event feature, customize the email template, set a different language, or add custom remarks. When you're all set, click on Save and Activate Workflow. There you have it. Each form submission would trigger the add-on and the request details would be forwarded to the reviewers you've specified during setup. Note that activating the workflow locks the settings from any changes. The Setup and Activate Workflow button is grayed out. If you want to change the settings, simply toggle this button off then click on the Setup and Activate Workflow button. Once you're done with the changes, click on the Save and Activate button. It's that easy. Thank you for joining me today. This is Marco from Wizzy.io. Please stay tuned for future video tutorials on Form Workflow Plus. Until next time, goodbye!